Hello and welcome to this video on 5 easy steps to porn proof your home or school. Why do we need to porn proof our schools and homes? Mm. Pornography teaches children that women are sex objects and that violent and extreme sexual behavior is okay. Pornography negatively impacts brain development and leads to porn addiction. Pornography leads to sexual abuse of self and others, sexual risk taking and acting out sexually. Whose responsibility is it to safeguard our children against pornography? Mm. Parents? Schools? Teachers? Yes, yes, and yes. It is the duty of parents and caregivers to keep children safe from harm. You might feel that you are technologically challenged and don't know where to start. We'll talk you through five easy steps to porn-proof your school and home. The World Wide Web, or the Internet, comes from somewhere, right? The company that provides you the access to the Internet via a cellular or a fiber connection is called an ISP, Internet Service Provider. Some of these service providers offer blocking and filtering of pornography. Step 1 would be to rather choose an ISP that offers protection over one that doesn't. Once inside your walls, the data is distributed via a Wi-Fi router. This can be secured with an additional layer of filtering and blocking at the directory name servers or DNS level. Step 2 would be to sign up to a cloud-based software solution like OpenDNS, Cloudflare, Google Public DNS or WebTitan. So far, so good. Now let's look at the devices the children have direct access to like laptops, computers, tablets, and smartphones. These can be school property or personal devices. All devices need to be secured with software such as Custodio, Covenant Eyes, or NetNanny, etc. to ensure that they are protected even if they make use of alternative network services. Step three, therefore, is installing on-device filtering and blocking software for all devices used by children at school or at home. Step four is developing and implementing a simple but robust digital usage and safety policy to clarify the roles, responsibilities and accountability structures that will guide parents and teachers in keeping both the school environment and its learners safe from harm. Step five is a healthy culture of values that ground all of the above in love, respect, dignity and accountability. Okay, let's recap. Step one, choose an internet service provider that offers filtering of adult content. Step 2. Put DNS software in place for your Wi-Fi. Step 3. Secure all end-user devices with filtering software. Step 4. Develop and implement policy to enforce implementation of protective measures. Step 5. Establish a value-based culture that supports responsible behavior. Well done! If you have implemented all the 5 steps in your school or home, you can call yourself pornproof. How will we know if these steps are successful? We will follow through with regular awareness training and education to parents and learners and periodical evaluation of the effectiveness of the porn proofing program. If any of these above steps are like higher grade maths to you, please visit our dedicated webpage at www.case-sa.org forward slash pornproof for more information about how to porn proof your school and home.